What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and welcome to Ultimate Knife Mods Volume 2. Is there a Volume 1? Yes, there is. In fact, I'll have made a playlist by the time you guys are seeing this. What's going on? Right down in the description is a link to the original video for my Ultimate Knife Mods content slash competition. Um, this is a uh, community driven contest. Uh, basically, I'm having people submit uh, their knife modifications to me so that I can share them with you in a way that is both informative and entertaining. I think one of the funnest things to do as somebody who's involved in the knife community is alter my knives to be something that they wouldn't normally be directly from the factory, but it just makes them that much more interesting, right? Um, this, this type of stuff is really fun for a lot of people. So. Um, if you'd like to be a part of this, uh, please go watch the original video. It has instructions on how to submit um, your uh, knife mods to me. Please don't just send me a picture. That's not how it works. Um, please watch the original video. Follow all of the instructions so you know exactly what's going on. <clears throat> if you have submitted something to me um, and uh, you don't see it in Volume 1 or Volume 2, that does not mean that it is not being considered. Um, there's going to be five total volumes. Um, with a final volume six with all of the winners and the prizes and everything like that. Um, so if you've entered something and you don't see it, don't worry. I might still be thinking about it. I get a lot of spider codes. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, spread this stuff out and make it interesting. Different stuff, right? A lot of spider codes. Um, so yeah, just, uh, you know, hang in there. Um, I'm, uh, I'm picking through the things that, you know, each video has five that I think are really cool. So it's really like... It should be called, you know, 25 knife mods that Metal Complex really thinks look neat. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's just the way we're doing it. Anyways, thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Um, let's go ahead and start off here with the first one, which initially does not look like anything super spectacular. ZT0393, uh, the scales are by Sharp Dress Knives. They are Glow Shred Carbon Fiber. Hardware is XXX Adrenaline XXX Tie, uh, full set. It's a great, the, the guy does great hardware. Um, <coughs> bearings are skiff made. I've got some of those on uh, my 0392, and the pocket clip is MXG Deep Carry and Tie. Uh, deep Carry and Tie. And again, you might think, wow, neat, right? Uh, this was the picture that did it in for me. <laughs> the, the glow shred looks awesome. And perhaps it's the contrast, the way that the picture was taken, right, with the purple background. But I saw that and I was like, man. That's actually super killer. Um, that that first picture I just was like, but that's this second one here. Um, I just I really thought that that was neat. Um, and you know, obviously the glow in the dark thing doesn't add any utility. But that, I mean, like, how much utility are any of these mods really adding? Right? This is more so just you know for fun. You know, the, the person who did this did it because they liked it. Even if they can just you know, it's one of those things where you have to shine a flashlight on it and then just sit there for twenty seconds going, yay! <laughs> <laughs> and then it's over and tell you. But I thought that this was cool, so I put this one on the list. By the way, I should have said this at the beginning. You should be voting. Down in the comments section, uh, you need to vote uh, one through five after you've seen all of the pictures here. So this is number one, the 0393. Uh, I'll go ahead and, you know, number the, the rest of them, but please don't say, well, I liked number three, then I liked number five, but now that I think about it, I kind of want to vote for number one. Don't do that because the website that I use to determine which, you know, knives are being voted on, it counts the most common responses. So leave your comment as I vote for number whatever, and that's it. Like if you want to add some other text, that's fine, but don't put multiple numbers in your vote. Just put one number in there. Um, it's fine if you want to explain yourself, but just don't add the other numbers. Just tell me very specifically which one you're voting for because you can win a prize just for voting at the end of all of this. Details in the original video. Moving on here. Wow. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> as far as knives that I don't expect custom scales to be made for, uh, the concept goblin might be 
the first or the last, depending on how I worded. I did not expect anyone to make custom scales for the concept gob goblin, let alone something this detailed. Uh, I was blown away by this. <coughs> Scale and clip in silver and gold by Pezzori on Etsy. I have found some... In you know, initially, I kind of felt like Etsy was kind of a cringy place to get... Not then I thought, like, what am I talking about? Like, well, I'm going to divide, like, certain sections of the knife world up as cringy or not cringy as far as where to get your knife. No. They, do what you want. Obviously, here's an example of something that's really cool that came from Etsy. And I'm probably just behind. Uh, I think there's a lot of really cool... When I say that, I mean, like, this was years ago. Uh, four or five years ago. Um, but obviously, Etsy has become a place where people really like to get super cool custom stuff done uh, with knives and other things. Um, this is a great example. Acid stone washed by way of knife. Bearings by Skiff. Very popular, of course. And then there's an Instagram where if you want to check out more detailed pictures. Look at the detail on the scales. That is freaking crazy. Uh, really cool there. I don't know what... Um, culture, I don't know if that's Japanese. It kind of looks like that's the case, maybe. I'm not, you know... I, I, I don't I don't know enough about that to really it, I, I'm just I'm just saying what I think it looks like. Um, but uh, what I can say, you know, I think maybe that is absolutely the, the one thing that I know is that the pattern in the back and this is because of the F5.5 from Urban EDC Supply. They called it the sick eye pattern. I think I can see that pattern in the back and I'm pretty sure that that's that's something that originates in Japan. Wow, <laughs> detective complex, <laughs> so cult so culturally aware. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, though, though I've put those pieces together. I I would assume. In any case, uh, I just really like the detail. Uh, I'm not much of like an art guy. It's just like it either looks good or it doesn't look good. This is a great example of something that I think looks spectacular. So, Pezzori on Etsy. I can't imagine these are inexpensive scales, but my goodness. Did they turn this concept goblin into something that is interesting? Uh, this would be your, um, what was it? Yeah, number two. The concept goblin would be number two. So if you want to vote for number two, or you want to obviously wait until you see them all, right? Just remember the concept goblin's number two. Moving on here. Um, this was, this blew me. What did, what did he call this? Oh, yeah, it says right there. The CRK Inkozan. <laughs> the Inkosi and the Umnumzan mixed together. A BGM regrind. Um, the uh, Instagram account is not a wealthy man. Um, so make sure you follow him for more pictures here. But I'm a big fan of this color contrast. Satin uh, and like a gunmetal and then uh, bronze. So that stuck out to me immediately. I think as much as I freaking hate lanyards, this, it's actually a nice touch, that burgundy lanyard in the back. Um, I also just really like... The idea of combining um, two different models uh, from Chris Reeve knives, the Inkosi and the Umnumzan. Um, so that regrind, you know, obviously does that. It just looks really good. I kind of, you know, with the with the Umnumzan being exclusively um, a drop point harpoon or a tanto harpoon, I kind of wish they did a sheep's foot. Um, and that, I mean, look at this. Look how good this does. Cap City Creations, milling, studs, and hardware anno is where the rest of that came from. I'll flip it over here so you guys can see there. RGT Timascus clip with anno removed. Um, that actually looks really nice. Um, ooh, we, I, I kind of, I, I agree with your, uh, as, your, your aesthetic choice very much. This is something that, you know, if I were trying to build my own custom umnums on and i saw a picture if i saw this picture i would think i kind of want to do exactly this i kind of agree with everything that's being done um with this now obviously this is a really expensive build you'd have to get your hands on an umnums on which is going to run you 450 bucks then you're going to have to pay to regrind it do the pocket clip do the hardware stuff like that <coughs> but wow it came out Super nice. Um, I really like that one. So this is the Inkozan, which I'm sure now people are really going <laughs> to, that's going to be a word that people say if it wasn't already. Um, it's certainly a word that I'm going to start using now. Uh, that's really cool. This is going to be number three. 
I believe, right? Yeah, that was number two and that was number one. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, moving on here to number four. Wow, wow. Um, this is a uh, Mandalorian inspired um, Recon 35. Uh, 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 oh gosh. Um, uh, what am I trying to say here? <clears throat> the OTF by, uh, um, <laughs> what's the name of it? Guardian Tactical. I was just about to get mine out. The Guardian, this is a Guardian Tactical Recon 35. Um, and then we have an aluminum blast, heat, bronze, uh, hardware and clip, which I think looks really good. Mudhorn engraving on the clip. This is the way in Mandalorian engraved in the blade fuller, which is really sick. <laughs> that this honestly looks like something that maybe could be in that universe. Uh, I mean, to me, I'm not. I I like you know I like Star Wars. I'm not I'm not like the biggest like I know everything about it. No, far from it. But man, it looks good. Really cool. This isn't necessarily the most you know like this this mod contest is not about like the most complicated or the most altered, the most expensive. It's just what jumps out at me, you know, as like, yeah, it, it really, it works. Like, it, it's either really dramatic and striking or the whole theme just really works and looks like it It looks good. This looks good. That, um, believe it or not, for those of you wondering, is that grind um, standard? Yeah, that is something that they do. It's like a compound where you have a hollow, it's a compound tanto where the hollow grind is up front which I think really adds, it makes it look very Mandalorian-y. <laughs> Does that make sense? This is super cool. Instagram at mr.mr.designs. I love that, especially the engraving in the fuller. That is just freaking wicked. I love it. Moving on here to um, the one that just instantly made me go, I, want, I really want that. Ah, oh, boy. The Benchmade Anthem. Uh, and this is a, uh, it says, and th this person sent me a whole bunch of stuff, but th there were a couple of things, uh, sir or madam, whoever you are who sent me this picture, you sent me a whole bunch of stuff and I was tempted to put something else in here, but I didn't want to do that. Um, anyways, Benchmade Anthem, flat ground handles, uh, spidey hole and anodizing by at Knife Motors, which I'm sure you guys are very familiar with. MXG gear, pocket clip, tie pivot from tie connector, uh, running on custom lapped fo uh, phosphor bronze washers. So this is an Anthem. And if you guys are familiar with the Anthem, you'll know that it's an integral. You'll probably also know that that axis lock, a lot of people, oh, well, you know, that's cool. But the problem is it's an axis lock that runs on Omega Springs. It doesn't run on Omega Springs. It runs on a coil spring because this is the Anthem and it runs differently. And I wish that Benchmade would change their axis lock. In fact, all these new, <clears throat> you know, they're all the axis lock, but the patent ended. So they're calling it the Able Lock and the, you know, the Fubar Lock and the Ying Yang Lock, whatever, you know, the XR Lock. <laughs> Whatever they want. Uh, it's They're all running on Omega Springs. This, the Anthem has the answer to the Omega Spring never being an issue. It's just, it's running on a coil spring. It operates the same way, but it runs on a coil spring, which is amazing. The Anthem is a super cool and, in my opinion, mega underrated bench made, but it was an integral and it was really expensive. Um, this is such a good looking knife. Now this sort of, I always refer to this as a plasma anno. Um, we see this sometimes. It kind of looks like Timascus, but it's not. It's just a really vibrant, multicolored uh, anodization. Um, it looks really good. I think that, you know, that's that's one thing, but the, the anode could look... The, the, the thing that I really like here is the spidey hole um, in the Anthem. I didn't know how much I would enjoy uh, that look. It, it, it looks really good with the anode, but that's just something that really stood out to me. Let's go ahead and move it over to the other side. Um, MSG Deep Carry, uh, MSG Gear Pocket Clip. And then the, the titanium pivot from tie connector also looks really, really good on this knife. This is just an overall incredibly handsome knife. And it was, it, I looked at this and thought, you know, given what I know about the Anthem, the fact that it's an integral, um, it's the best axis lock that exists. I think it's the only one of its kind through on the Benchmade line that runs on the coil spring. Kind of, it's like the axis lock meets the cage lock from Spyderco. Um, so... Given all of that, this is kind of like a, wow, this is kind of a perfect 
setup here. I think I would prefer the spidey hole over the thumb stud on the Anthem. Um, I really like this knife. Again, this would be an expensive mod to do. You'd have to find an Anthem and you'd have to have it modded and all that, blah, blah, blah. Really, really cool. This was definitely one of the ones that stood out to me. So this would be number five. So again, the Benchmade Anthem, uh, the modded Benchmade Anthem is number five. Uh, number four would be the Mando 35, which is the Recon 35. Uh, number three would be the Inkozan. Um, you will need to include the number. Please include the number in your vote. Please. That's how this is going to work. The Goblin, the modded Goblin at number two. Uh, and the 0393, uh, the Glow in the Dark 0393 at number one. So again, make sure you include it. Just a very plain and simple, I vote for number whatever. And that, that's the way to do it. Very, very cool. Thank you so much to everybody who has, um, you know, entered things. This has been fun, uh, and uh, you guys seem to enjoy watching it. Just remember, there's a prize for the ultimate knife mod, the one that's voted for the most out of these five volumes at the end. That'll be in volume six. And then there will also be a prize, uh, one prize for um, one of the voters. So if you are voting on any of these videos, or multiple, um, you are uh, entered. So, um, yeah, that's what you want to do. Make sure that you leave a vote. And if you have a modification you want to send for the contest, you can absolutely enter to win both prizes. Um, please click on the first link in the description, which will take you to the uh, original video, which will explain the entry information. And uh, then you can go from there. Anyways, I think that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed Volume 2 of Ultimate Knife Mods. If you did... Uh, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.